Hello and welcome to Alaska Ants, and today we have Classius neoniger as a showcase species. This species is known as the Labor Day Ant as its nuptial flights happen on or around Labor Day. In Alaska, these ants will hibernate almost immediately after nuptial flights due to the early winters we have up here. These ants can be found everywhere in North America and are a native species, meaning you don't have to worry if you need to let them go due to downsizing because they are not invasive in North America. This species egg to worker time is around one month with faster maturity rates when in higher temperatures. So if you are in a colder climate, I recommend using heat pads as it will cut down on the maturity time. <clears throat> Their diet consists of the basic protein, carbs, and water. They can have a variety of protein sources, including, but not limited to, crickets, mealworms, superworms, cockroaches, and beetles of some species. My colony seems to enjoy most protein sources, as I have fed them a good variety. For carb options, you have sugar water, honey, syrup, and jelly. Mine seem to prefer honey, as you can see in the video. It is always important to remove excess food and uh, sugar, as it can mold or cause ammonia from rotting. This can kill the ants, so that's why it's important. <clears throat> For water, I have my ants in a test tube setup. This provides constant water and nest humid humidity versatility, meaning the ants can simply choose where to put brood for optimal humidness. It is always important to give your ants options so they are most comfortable. In my opinion, this ant species is a great beginner species. They're very forgiving uh, to mistakes because of their variety of climates that they come from. They also grow at a moderate rate and their egg worker time can be reduced, which means you'll have workers in no time and you don't have to wait as long as carpenter ants. They're also very quick and energetic, meaning you'll always see them around. They'll be running around to get food or making trails with pheromones. One of my favorite things about them is the fact that they don't take very long to mature. In fact, one of my favorite species, Capodotus herculanus, is the exact opposite. They're carpenter ants, and they take up to two months for an egg to turn into a worker. <clears throat> there are many benefits. To raising this kind of species and i hope that this video convinces you to do so and gives you enough information that you can do it successfully remember guys ant keeping is not always a one and done shot gig it takes time and mistakes when you're raising ants you gotta remember that it's not always gonna work out the first time this is actually my first time ever having two workers in an uh in a lassius new niger colony that successfully made it Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope that you guys liked my tutorial. See you next time. What you're watching right here uh, on the left with the queen and one of her workers is actually called trophallaxis, which is the transfer of stored foods in the worker's 
uh, social stomach to the queen. But So basically, the worker is throwing up what's in its social stomachs, kind of like a little satchel inside of it, to feed the queen, which is the honey that was uh, just consumed by her.